Hello and welcome everybody to Adelante Chicago. I'm Ana Belaval in for Lourdes Duarte. Thank you so much for joining us today. There is no doubt that the city of Chicago is currently besieged by violence. Over 2,300 people have been shot since the beginning of the year. Hoping to change this sad reality, a group of community leaders are trying something new. They're hosting the first ever Peace Festival. Joining us now to talk about the event is Peace Fest founder Robert, Robert Torres, 31st Alderman Millie Santiago, and sports consultant Angel Lopez. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for inviting us. So tell me, Robert, uh, what is the Peace Fest? The Peace Fest is, is uh, leaders coming together mm -hmm. uh, to help the community, leaders and pastors and churches coming together to help our community. To help them how? Because it's a festival, so it sounds like a party to me. So how is that, you think, a good vehicle to, to change this, this sad reality? Well, as an activist, one of the things we hear in our community is the lack of resources, programs, and jobs. So we decided, why not give them that? So really, the, the, the Peace Fest is to bring that to the community. Um, so we're excited to do that, along with uh, Alderman Millie Santiago in, in her ward. Millie, why did you want to join this, this event? And uh, any opportunity that we get to bring the community together, the parents, the kids, and the whole, the whole neighborhood into one festival that is so positive for the community, I, I welcome it. Because we need to empower the community in a completely different direction if, you want, if we want to bring changes uh, in terms of the public safety in our neighborhoods. What is this festival going to include? Well, it's gonna, it's gonna, definitely we're going to include also workshops. So that's where we have uh, Angel Lopez mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be there creating the sports workshop. We're also going to have music workshop. We're also going to have educational workshop as well. So we're not only, only going to have program resources, but we're also providing workshops for the community. Angel, uh, why did you want to join this as a sports consultant? Well, one of the things is I wanted to bring the experience because this is my hometown. Uh, one of the things that I love coming here is bringing in, you know, my background with the NFL, which I brought in the NFL chapter here to our fest so the kids can experience it in our Latin community, you know, and I want them to learn that there's, to take away the violence, it's something there for them to really learn the sport and understand the inside in the NFL. And also, I am Latino. That's a big inspiration for that. Well, you're one of them. Yes, we I am. We will forgive that you belong to the Green Bay Packers for a while. <laughs> we, I mean, here in Chicago, we'll forget you for that. We are proud, anyway, that you reach such a pinnacle that a, a lot of kids Thank you. don't think they can make it. A lot of them want to be the players. They yes. don't think yes. the coaching aspect is something that can get them out of the neighborhood yes. and can get them out of trouble. Yes. Explain that. Well, I, what I what I would explain to the kids is part of being the co as a coach, I would teach them the lingo, mm -hmm. you know, give them the inside of the coaching world and give them the inside of the players, but just the same, you know, and give them, the, give them a little different level and, you know, teaching them about the sport, you know what I mean? So. And that if you want to call the shots and tell people what to do, it's the coach that you want to be, yeah, right? Yeah, but it starts with education. Yes. It starts, educate, starts with going to school first, get your degree. You know, mm -hmm. it's only 1% to make it in the NFL. Yes. It really does. Mm -hmm. You know, we're very few. So, I mean, it, it's a blessing to have that, you know, take advantage. And I want to give back to the community. This is part of giving back. So how, this was, how was this idea born? Well, my partner, Carlos uh, Arroyo Jr., approached me and said, Robert, based on what you do uh, in, in our community, in our city, uh, you know, I had this idea. And so when he approached me, we sat down on the table and we pretty much just spoke about and assessed our community and what they needed. And, and, and one of the things that I always do uh, in all of my meetings that I include young people in our table. I will not have a meeting without young people at our table because they have the answer. Mm -hmm. So for, for after further speaking with him, we decided, listen, let's join the churches, let's join the pastors, let's join the political figures, and let's bring them together, and let's find a way to help our youth in our community. Millie, I know that before you were an alderman, besides being a reporter, you were a member of the community that you now represent. And I remember you telling me I wanted to get involved as a politician because I was tired of seeing what was going on. Now that you're in this position, what do you think it's the number one problem that's causing the violence in wards like yours? I think it's more gang activity in the different wards, especially in my ward. Uh, we see more uh, police, uh, more gang activity going on. We, we have a lot of 
families that come to my office complaining about certain areas where uh, gangbangers are, are hanging out more. And as a matter of fact, I started something called positive loitering, which is basically a group of residents meeting at specific locations that I call hot spots mm -hmm. where gangbangers hang out to let them know that we are out there, the community belongs to the to the residents, the, the parks belongs to the residents, and I, I think it's time for people to try to bring a different approach. And this is what you're trying to do with the festival, empower the community to say, we can throw this yes. peaceful party and we, we have resources to get these kids off the street because a, a lot of times what I've heard is that it's a lack of things to do. That's why they go and join again. Absolutely. And, and one of the prime, uh, one of the, the, the crucial things that the that youth keeps on telling us is, is jobs. Mm -hmm. So rather, it, you know, and it's career jobs to try to give these kids career jobs. And, and, and we're going to bring that to the table that day. Uh, How? And so, well, we're bringing <clears throat> Labor Pool is one of the uh, one of the companies that are coming in where they have career jobs. So mm -hmm. they'll be there that day assessing some of these young kids and having them come to their office and try to give them those career jobs. Are you going to have programs? Obviously, you're going to have Angel there, but programs like what helped Angel become part of the NFL and a coach. These these programs that can give them the sport, but then also the opportunity to move forward within the sport. Well, you know, that's a, that's a great question. We are in conversation mm -hmm. uh, with other organizations. Oh, you can't say that. And I can't say that, <laughs> yes. but we are we are in conversation. And Joan mm -hmm. Lopez, uh, we've been working very hard. Uh, they're really trying to give our youth what they're asking for. So mm -hmm. it's really to get our kids, get, you know, in sports and music and theaters, what they like, Let, let's give it to them. Right. But let's plant that seed while we're doing it. Yeah, and, we're, and let's do it in a healthy way. That yes. is correct. Is it a, a free fest? That's 100% free. free. And give me the time, give me the information of where it is at Absolutely. And so on. It's going to be at 5100 West Diversity Avenue, which is at the New Life West Covenant Church parking lot. Mm -hmm. We're going to be transforming that. It's going to be from 12 to 7 p.m. We're also going to have food truck vendors there as well. So it's a, we're going to have worship teams from churches coming together and really giving the the, the worship and we're also going to have leaders and just so many positive things that we're going to have that day. Are you obviously you're making this in the northwest side of the city but is it is it for everybody in the city who are you hoping comes to this festival? We we hope to get a people from different neighborhoods. I mean, this is for everybody, but we want to be the first example. I think this is a model uh, f fest that could be uh, duplicated in different wars. And I think I feel very proud to be just basically part of this first Peace Fest in, in the community because it's, it's such a positive thing. Angel, you are part of the community. What would you like to say to kids that, that are growing up like you did? Well, you know, I have to say, you know, that to, I want the kids to learn. That, that will help me is the education part of it, you know, and I, I know that there's a lot, of the, a lot of things to offer for them. And if I could show them that this could be you someday, you know, be, me being part of this, you can be there someday. You know, it could happen. You know, dreams are come for real for everybody, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to leave it like that. Angel yep. Lopez, thank you so much. Thank Alderman Mili Santiago, Robert Torres. Co-founder of the Peace Fest, good luck with your event. And you have the information. It's going to be October? The 24th. The 24th. And that's a sat Saturday. That is a Saturday. Saturday. That is correct. Perfect. And you have the information right there, October 24th. 5100 West Diversity from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. Chicago Peace Fest at gmail.com if you want to get more information.